Hey guys, personal injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and I'm driving in early in the morning. In any minute now, the sun is going to poke up above the horizon and shoot me right in the face, which is why I'm wearing sunglasses, even though it doesn't look that dark out. Um, uh, so a couple of people have commented like, oh, it's not safe for you to shoot videos while you're driving. Well, if you notice, I never look at the camera. The camera rolls, but I am never looking at the camera. I am always looking around, driving, paying attention to what's on the road. So I'm never looking at the camera, staring at the camera, staring right at you. The camera rolls, but that's why I think it's safe. And I turn the camera on and off when I have, you know, got at least 15 car lengths in front of me or I'm stopped in traffic. So I don't mess with the video. If the video gets messed up, then I re-record it later. I don't do any detail stuff on my phone while I'm driving, and I think that, you know, that's a pretty safe way to do it. So, to the, the just, you know, to answer some people's comments that they've left on other videos. So, the, the topic for today is, how can I know whether my case is going to be a big settlement or not? You know, do I have a case that has a big settlement value or verdict value, or is it a case that's probably going to be smaller, right? So um, here's what you have to look at, right? The first thing you have to look at is, is it a case where you might be partially at fault or a jury might think you're partially at fault, or is it clearly everything somebody else's fault, right? So you're stopped at a traffic light for a minute waiting for the light to turn and somebody rear ends you. Well, in a situation like that, there's no way anybody's going to be able to say that it was your fault and that you have to pay for it, right? Or that your damages should be reduced. I should tell you that in Illinois, um, the way it works at trial, at court, is if you're more than 50% responsible for the incident that caused you to get hurt or accident, then you don't get any money. And then if you're under 50%, then what you get is reduced by that percentage. So let's say you win 100 buck, uh, 100,000 at trial, those are your damages, but 20%, the jury thinks 20% of the prop of the crash was your fault and 80% was the other guy's fault. They reduce the 100,000 by 20%, which means your 100,000 goes down to 80,000. So that's how it works, and that's why it's important whether anyone could credibly say that you're partially responsible. The other thing is, how big is the insurance policy of the other person? If they have a big insurance policy, you're only limited by that policy, usually. Now, there's ways to get more money, but you know, based on Illinois law, it's really hard to do. And subst subst some substandard insurance companies counsel their insured to go file bankruptcy immediately before the case is even over. So they're protecting themselves from a bad faith claim and it's unethical to do, but they do it and they usually get away with it. Um, the last thing to consider, which is probably the first thing you consider, it's the first thing that pops in your mind about, man, I think I have a substantial case. And that is how serious the injury is, right? So a neck strain or a back sprain that only lasts six weeks is worth far less money than a neck or back surgery, right? And a neck or back surgery with a good outcome where you return to work and you're feeling pretty great is worth a lot less money than somebody who has neck or back surgery and can't be fixed. And they've had multiple surgeries and they're ruining their kidneys and liver with pain medication and things of that nature, right? So the severity of the injury and the amount of medical treatment and the permanency are what we look for, right? But the best way for you to really know um, a settlement range for your case is to talk to a lawyer. And injury lawyers give free consultations. You've heard me say it a thousand times. My office is available for a free consultation at any time, 312-500-4500. Uh, I also have a tool on my website that's called the Case Settlement Calculator. 
and it's a free tool that's on my website. You just ask about half, a, or you don't ask, you answer, about half a dozen, like six, four or six um, multiple choice questions. You just click the answer right on your computer or your phone or your tablet, and in you know less than 15 seconds, you get an answer. And the cool thing is, no lawyer to talk to, don't have to call anybody, don't have to wait for a call back, you can do it right now. And I'll leave that link in the description. So, um, you know, the main thing is you want to be careful about attorneys who you call for a consultation who tell you, oh yeah, yeah, it's worth a million dollars, it's worth a million dollars. Even though, you know, that's what you want to know, right? I mean, you call an attorney you're usually under financial pressure, you're not working, the doctor bills are piling up, you're wondering how you're gonna pay all that stuff, right? Well, that's natural, and so it's natural for you to say, bottom line, what's the case worth? What am I gonna get out of it? Is it even worth it for me to go through all this stress and hassle? So you want a number, right? I get that. But be wary of attorneys who easily give you a number without a lot of information. You know, an attorney really has to have a lot of information to give you an accurate number, um, but thing you know, tools like my settlement calculator can give you a ballpark estimate, right? But it's not obviously legal advice because a lawyer can only give you legal advice if they're in full possession of your facts. And what facts? They're the very facts that I just talked about at the top of this video. So hope the information helps you, folks. Hope you have a great day. And I hope that uh, my day is beginning quite early, but I hope that my day doesn't uh, go real long. I'm shooting this uh, at the end of the week, and I sure could use a weekend off where I catch up on sleep and catch up on rest and maybe see friends and family and decompress a little bit, but I know I've got to work a little bit this week, but that's the life of a lawyer. Um, and I guess, really, I wouldn't have it any other way. So thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day and uh, take care.